I'm sure most of you, some of you, have heard of the Mead Stampede. Doing the most and Man Made Mead have collaborated and created a mead contest where anyone and everyone can send mead to be judged and there's a judging panel and winners and prizes. Is there prizes? prizes? Is there prizes? I don't know. Is there prizes? I, I don't know if there's prizes. There might be prizes. But there's, there's winners. There's, there's definitely winners and ribbons and a judging panel and it's going to be awesome and we want to be a part of that. But what mead do we want to submit? Well, I picked my three favorites. And I've picked my three favorites. And now we're going to debate and decide. Which one do we want to send to the Meat Stampede? Okay, so, Derek, you're up. You can go first. I'm going first? You're going first. What do you got? <laughs> You're going to lose this one, man. Berry Medley number 55. That's your favorite mead that we made. I love this mead. That is a really good mead. Hey, what about the coffee mead? The coffee mead? We can't send that. Why? It's not bottled yet. It's amazing, though. But, uh, we can uh, bottle it just for this. Okay, hey, wait, look, 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 look. If we send them a bottle of the coffee mead, that's one less bottle that we have. Berry Medley, number 55. <laughs> we can't send the berry mead. Uh, why? It's got a layer of sediment at the bottom. So what? And the label is crooked. Really? The label is crooked? You can't send a bottle of mead to a contest with a layer of sediment at the bottom. It's unsightly. It, not only does it have to taste good, it has to look good, too. That's not good. Pick a different one. No good. <laughs> Sweet traditional mead. This is one of my favorite meads. I knew you'd like this. It's mead. super sweet. It's almost a dessert mead. <clears throat> but we can't send this one either. What? It's cloudy. So what? Nobody loves a cloudy mead. It may taste amazing, but it's cloudy. It, is, it, it, it looks like shit. Look. It does not look like shit. It looks like nice, crisp lemonade. It tastes like nice, crisp. It does look like lemonade. It tastes nice and crisp. But it doesn't look very nice. We can't we can't send that one. Try again. Try again. Alright, fine. Fine. You want clear? Joe's ancient <laughs> orange mead. Or jam. Whatever you Joe's ancient orange mead is almost my favorite mead. Almost. But we can't send a Joe. Alright, what's your excuse for this one? <laughs> this it's is clear. <laughs> it's clear. It's pretty. It looks wonderful. It tastes wonderful. Joe's Ancient Orange Mead is a very, very, very common recipe. It's one of our most viewed videos. Everybody makes Joe, and everybody's Joe tastes the same as everybody else's Joe. He's got a point. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, we fine, can't fine. Send a Joe. You don't like my three. Show me what you got. First, I made this amazing fizzy mead out. Eric. Fizzy mead? It's fizzy mead. It's champagne. It's not. It's, uh, it's fizzy mead. It says Eric's mead. Yeah, I made it. I, I, I repurposed the bottle. And I put fizzy mead it's in it. It's got the factory seal still on it. Champagne uses a cork that you can't recork. So, no Eric? No. No Eric. Okay. Show me what else you got. <sighs> Blue mead! I made this blue mead out of Eric. honey and... No. That's what? Boone's Farm. It's not Boone's Farm. It's not even mead. It says Eric's Mead. This is the stuff that we used in the commercial. So no Boone's Farm? No Boone's Farm. You got something you actually made? Okay. Oh, give me something that's mead. This is mead. This is... Barred, barreled Yalpon mead. I made this out of barrels and Yalpon. Mm. Go ahead. No, no, you got something to say, I know it. Yeah, this is a fantastic mead. This is a wonderful mead. And <laughs> you didn't make it. That, how are you going to say that? Because Bray made this mead. But, 
It says it right here. I can take the label off. Is this a hundred dollar bill as a label? It's. Are you trying to bribe them? No. This is the one we'll send. No, it's not. This one. Let's just send this one. No. Why? It's bribery. It's dishonest. And I'm not gonna let you. What else do you got? That's it. Then we're sending one of mine. No, yours are no good. They're fine. Well, I guess. I guess we're undecided. We're, we're gonna figure this out. Yeah, we're gonna explore our options a little more. See what we can come up with. So, we have a bit of a sad announcement. We're placing this announcement after our outro because we don't want to draw attention away from the Mead Stampede. But Derek and I are going to be separating for a while. Now, there's no hard feelings, definitely no drama. It's just a matter of time. Neither of us had any idea just how much work and effort went into running a YouTube channel. And man, is it a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Now, I'm blessed with a job that gives me a lot of free time, but Derek doesn't have that luxury. Not only does he have a full-time job, but I also have other projects that keep me really busy. He just can't be here all the time, every time, for all these videos. So for a little while, it's going to be just me. This is only temporary. Te temporary? Temporary. You may not know it yet, but this is temporary. Okay, how many likes does this video have to get for you to not quit? Likes? Likes. Oh, yeah. 10,000 likes. 10. 10? 10. 7,000 likes. 2,000 likes. You heard it from Derek. 2,000 likes on this video, and he won't quit. <laughs> Now, make no mistake, Derek and I are still best friends. He still lives 10 minutes away from me. We're still going to brew all the time. We're still going to hang out. We're definitely going to brew. Definitely going to brew. And I might even pop in for a video now and again. But for the most part, for now on, it's going to be just me. Did you turn the fog machine on? For a dramatic effect. Turn it off. No, Eric. Press this one over here. Turn it off. No, Eric. Turn it off.